for book one, proposition number 33 of Euclid's Elements, the straight lines joining equal and parallel straight lines in the same directions, respectively, are themselves also equal and parallel. So what this proof is focusing on is that if we start off knowing that AB and DC are parallel, and also that they're equal to each other, then what we're trying to prove is that the lines BD and AC are also equal and parallel. So to start this, let's first connect the points B and C with a line, which we can do because of postulate number one, which says that we can connect any two points with a straight line. And then from here, we want to use book one, proposition number 29, which essentially concerns the angles of parallel lines that are cut by a transversal. So we know that AB and CD are parallel and they're cut by this transversal BC. So we know that this angle here and this angle here are equal to each other since they're alternate angles. So angle ABC is equal to angle DCB. From here, we want to focus on the two triangles here, triangle BDC and triangle ABC. So notice that they share one pair of equal sides, AB and DC, and this angle here is equal to this angle here in this other triangle, but they also share this line in common. So we can use book one, proposition number four, which is essentially the side angle side theorem for triangles. And this proves that these two triangles are equal to each other. So we can write that triangle DCB is equal to triangle ABC. And since we know these triangles are equal, we know that all of their sides respectively are equal as well. So basically, this side here, BD, would have to be equal to the side AC. So BD equals AC. This is one of the things we are trying to prove. Now we just have to show that BD and AC are parallel to each other. And we can do this because we know the triangles are equal, so that means all of their angles, respectively, are equal as well. So this angle here, would equal this angle here. So let's write that. That angle DBC is equal to angle ACB. And since these angles are equal, notice that we have these lines BD and AC cut by some transversal BC, and the alternate angles are equal to each other. And we know because of book one, proposition number 27, that if the alternate angles are equal to each other, that implies that the lines are parallel. So this line BD would be parallel to this line AC. So BD is parallel to the line AC. So we've just proven that they're parallel and equal to each other. And that finishes our proof, so we can end with QED.